The following sports broadcast made possible by support from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at customheating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant, whatever it takes. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? Save time. Shop online at rosenhyundai.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography. For all your photographic needs, senior portraits, family portraits, sports, and more. Visit Daryl online at DarylBarnes.com. We are live here from Jacobs High School. Another matchup here, a part of our Hinkle Holiday Classic Tournament. I'm Andy Ockham alongside my good friend, Austin Giese. We got a matchup today between the South Elgin Storm and the Grant Bulldogs. Should be a going in store for us here, Austin. It should be definitely for sure. Grant Bulldogs got some notable size on them there. Their guards are pretty tall, 5'10", 5'11", 5'9". Pretty tall guards here for, for Grant. We'll see how they match up with South Elgin Storm. And Marquise has it for the Storm. Over to Wofford. Wofford, the junior guard, ball handler, man to look out for for the Storm. As we mentioned, the Storm are without one of their key participants, Lane McVicker, uh, one of their sophomore forwards. He's currently on crutches at the moment. Wiley, Kentness Wiley, no rebound. Wiley again, he'll go to the line to shoot two. As we wish Lane well for a speed. As we start for the free throw shot for Wiley. Kendis off on the first. And off on the second. Kendis gets it right back. He gets it to go. There's his two points. Kendis Wiley. Brought down here by the Bulldogs, the Chad Keesigan. Over to Carter K. Back to Ashley. Driving Keesigan, no good. He throws it off Wiley. That will be storm ball as we are underway here in the first half. First quarter action here at the Hinkle Holiday Classic. Whopper to Marquise. <laughs> Storm. Three ball, Whopper got it. Aaron Whopper for three. Storm up 5 nothing. Beautiful three from Aaron Wofford. We love that good three point shooting here. Swing it. And that three is good, Michael Ashley. Michael Ashley with the three ball. You love those, those bigger guards that can shoot the three ball. He's 6'1", ginormous frame on him. See how they go for him for an advantage here on the side. Whopper drive, no good. Wiley rebound, he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Trojans first foul. What are you mainly expecting out of both of these teams for this game, Andy, so far as we're getting into the opening minutes here? Well, as we are obviously more familiar with South Elgin and what they run. And we know they're a very young team, very fast paced. They revolve around, and ball handling, they revolve around one guy, junior guard Aaron Wofford. And for Grant, 
We know from last year, Grant's a team that will shoot the rock, but they're also very, they're hard grit nosed. They are also a grinder team and expect them to be very physical as well. It'll be Marquise on the inbound. And he'll toss it over to Wofford. Wofford, kick out corner, Gens, Gens, drive, baseline, bucket good, Josh Gens. Carter K. Back to Ashley. Could have been a walk Ashley there Ashley McKeeskin. Corner three. K. Money. Carter K for three. Beautiful three from Carter K. Right in the corner. Good ball movement to lead to that wide open three right there. Here's Wofford. For Grant. Wofford feed into Wiley. Wiley pass taken away by Grant. Good job forcing turnovers here by Grant. They're going to have to rely on that to get ahead in this game for the, as you said, heavily ball movement reliant storm. Fast paced team. While Grant is gonna be slowing it down a little bit more, focusing more on moving the rock. Feed it in, bucket there. Neil Knudsen. Knudsen, as the PA announcer said, I'm sure we're gonna get corrected time and time again. <laughs> Gens to Marquise. Grant up one here. Seibel gonna take a three, no good. Rebound, Wiley's down there. Gets fouled, he'll go to the line to shoot two. We keep rolling, once again, we're at the charity stripe for the storm with Wiley. And Wiley will knock home the first. Sub in here for South Elgin. Drew Swick checks in for Joe Zeibel. Second toss is good for Kendis. Storm up one. Seeing a pretty slow pace so far. Gritty and action packed game. Looking to be close here so far with Grant and Storm here at the Hinkle Holiday Classic presented by Beacon Academy. And foul there on Wiley. Actually, be a foul on Dill Marquise. Second toss, good for Chad Keesgan. So we are tied at nine. The Wofford on Jalen Rios. Over to Swick. Swick to Marquise. Back to Swick. Swick. Ball tip. Possession will stay with the storm. We're hearing a lot of energy from that, that Grant bench so far. Don't you hear that? Yeah, they're. They're all four, they're all four. They're trying to do here on the defensive side. Four minutes to go here in the first. Wofford drive, kick corner, Gens. Gens driving, blocked by Keys, getting oh. in the hands of Mikhail Ashley. Ashley feeds Rios, back to Ashley. Ashley, no good, rebound, Wofford. That was a great fast paced action play there. I thought Ashley would use his size and sure Sheer stature to get some advantage there in the paint. Couldn't convert. Swick, drive, block there. Another block from Grant. Great defensive pressure here from Grant. Nice steal there by Marquise. Both defenses playing high tonight. Or this afternoon, I should say, used to calling games in the evening <laughs> as this tournament runs. Full day, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Corner three, no shot. They're gonna call a foul there on Gens. 
as Knudsen checks back in. will come in for Mikhail Ashley. Take a look at those Storm jerseys. Every single one of them says family. I think that's a nice touch. Family on the back of the white jerseys. I know there's a message on the back of the red ones, too. It has been a while since I've seen them in there. Red jerseys as well as this time I was brought to you by Tom the Plumber. Tom the Plumber Inc. is a family owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installation of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at tomtheplumberinc.com. As so far, 9-9, nine, nine, both defense playing really well. A lot of, lot of steals we've been seeing. A lot of steals, a lot of blocks from Grant. We're seeing really good defensive pressure on both ends. Offense has been a little bit muted on both sides, but it's looking to be a nitty gritty game here, Andy. A lot of takeaways so far, and a couple blocks on the Grant end as well. And a three ball taken there, good! Right off the inbound, Symmetra. Beautiful three point right off the inbound, quick points, quick buckets to put Grant ahead of the storm, up by three. The Swick, over to Marquise. Back to Gens, Gens to Swick. Swick to Marquise. Dylan driving, scoop with the right, good. Dylan Marquise. Beautiful drive there by Dylan Marquise. Getting some momentum here for the Storm. We'll see both teams once again. Pretty close, tight-knit game here at St. Jacob's. Svadra, I should say Rios over to Svadra. Ball movement here, Keesgan over to Rios. Jalen Rios, good defense here by the Storm. Mixed in with the ball movement. Wofford, they're gonna get him for a foul there. And subs coming in, Wiley and Marquise going out. Brian Vesta and White Stewart coming in for the storm. Over to Rios. Svadra corner, Keesgan. They're going to say he stepped out. South Elgin will take over. Subs back in for the Bulldogs. That'd be Carter Kay and Mikhail Ashley. Once again, Closing out the, heading the final two minutes of the first quarter, we're seeing a very slow paced, defense oriented game here. See if it picks up the pace here in these last two minutes. See if you get some offense out of both teams. So far it's been a slow paced defensive affair, Andy. And it'll be a technical foul called as what we heard, uh, Brian Vesta. This isn't on Brian, but this is a scorebook mishap as he was not in the scorebook. Oh. Once again, not this is a foul on the storm bench, not on any player in particular. This was just a fail at fail attempt at putting all the names in the scorebook from what I <laughs> heard from the head ref. So it seems Ashley will be shooting some free throws for Grant. And Ashley will knock home the first. Coach Johnson does not look too pleased. And he knocks home two. So as a scorebook mishap on the South Elgin side, once again, I'll mention it for you. Reiterate this again, not on any player in particular, be on the South Elgin bench for a failure to report all the players in the book. Ashley gonna take a three. He's ultimately oh gonna make them pay on this possession. Mikhail Ashley, two free throws and a three-pointer. 
just like that, Grant is up 17 to 11. Wow, that was... That was a beautiful play right there, giving them a little bit of momentum. And that could not have hurt South Elgin anymore as this timeout is brought to you by Custom Heating, Fire Heating, or Cooling Needs. Kind of Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicago Land, featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency services. Find them online at customheating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant, whatever it takes. Rough possession there for the Storm, all based off a scorebook mishap. It wasn't even any of the players on the floor's fault. It was just a scorebook mishap that now has put them down 17 to 11, giving Grant a little bit of momentum here. Let's see if the Storm can regain some of that momentum back here as we wind down a minute and a half left in the first. Whopper drive, no rebound. The Bulldogs loose ball, nice poke there by the Storm. They'll stay with Grant. Ashley, swing it over to Kay, back to Svadra. Loose ball into the hands of Wofford, here come the storm, we'll feed it up to Swick. Swick with the drive and finish for Drew Swick. Beautiful finish for Drew Swick there. Having a good layup to get some momentum here for the storm. They're down four. Foul is gonna be called. Chad Keesgen will check back in for the Bulldogs and Marquise will check back in for the Storm. You see still a close net game here. Anybody's game as we head down to the final minute of play in the first quarter. He's getting back to Ashley. Ashley. See Randall Holm. Holm has it. Seeing good ball Houston. movement here from Grant. Moving the rock around it. I believe everyone on the floor has gotten the ball so far in this play. EK now over to Ashley. Good defense by the Storm. Good ball movement by Grant. What a battle this possession is. Marquise there. Energy down. picking up everywhere now. And there an offensive is. foul. South Elgin will take over. Beautiful defensive pressure by the Storm to gain possession once again. I believe will be the final possession of the quarter. 24 seconds left as the Storm inbound. It'll be to Swick with the last. Looking for the last shot of the quarter. That's something interesting, Austin. If you look down behind the Grant bench, the Bartlett Hawks are sticking around. They're <laughs> watching. Whether, whether for this tournament, they still they have two more games against the Storm this season. Gens three in and out, no good. Rebound home. Come the Bulldogs. Grant will have the last Ashley. shot of the game. K three, no good. Rebound home. The tip is go. good. That one will count for Randall home, and that'll end the scoring for the quarter. Beautiful put back points at the buzzer. That's impressive for Grant Bulldogs to give them the edge here. After the first quarter of play, our score, Grant 19, South Elgin 13. We'll be right back after this commercial break. What makes me most proud of our restaurants is our people. Our people who come in and work for us every single day. We try to create an atmosphere of, of family, an atmosphere of warmth, and an atmosphere of compassion. We are back here for our second quarter of action here from the Ingle Holiday Classic, a matchup between the Grant Bulldogs and the South Elgin Storm as we have a custom, or a Bear Family McDonald's, I should say, replay coming up, or custom heating of the putback by Randall Holm to end the first quarter of play. As we mentioned, coming to this one, South Elgin sporting a four and seven record, two and two in the conference, and Grant is two and nine, oh and two in the conference. So. Both teams not off the ideal starts the season that they want to be at, but playing very competitive here so far through one quarter of play. Very competitive, slow net game as that falls. Okay, See if Chad Keesgen. Any specific team can gain some momentum here. So far it's just been a slow paced defensive affair, but see how that continues into the second quarter. Stewart the drive, nice bucket for wide Stewart. Six point grant lead now. Once again, we're seeing that great Grant 
ball movement here as the Storm also continues their defensive pressure, making every possession a, seems like a battle. Ashley feeling himself, blocking oh. Michael Ashley. Ashley with the three once again. He's got 10 points in the game so far. A little step back between the legs, <laughs> feeling myself type bucket there from him. Gens, nice head fake, pull up side jumper, got it, Josh Gens. Storm down seven. Group on the floor for them, 21 Swick, five Gens, 11 Stewart, 12 Marquise and 35 Patinio. In for Grant as Randall Holm, 25, take a three, no good, Randall Holm. Carter K. Neil Nudson, Michael Ashley, and Chad Keesgan. Pull up three, Swick, no good. Rebound, Ashley. It's been all over the place so far today for the Bulldogs. Patenio has it. Good steal there by the Storm. Once again, applying that defensive pressure. We'll see if they can convert something on offense over here. Swick, drive and kick, Marquise. Over to Stewart. Stewart. Loose ball into the hands, two bodies on the floor for Grant. Marquise drive, nothing and no foul. That's what he was looking for, Keesgan. I'm seeing a little bit more fast place play over here. Ashley thought about it, stolen. And they're gonna get him there for a foul. South Elgin will take over. And another Grant turnover. They need to, those are gonna add up and be costly if they keep committing those foul mistakes to give Storm free possessions. Here's Swick. Gens. It's Patinio. Start trying to move the ball. Stewart, drive. Good defense, shot defense there by Grant. He's getting over to Ashley. Feed Randall Holm down low, no good, rebound Stewart. Wild shot there by Grant, I believe that was, he could have slowed it down a little bit more and got a better shot, but now we have the Storm another possession. It'll be Swick, the drive, no good, rebound Patinio. Great rebound there by Patinio, that hustle play, giving the Storm another extra possession. I think he grabbed that board over a couple different <laughs> guys there, good rebound there by Jacob Patinio. Swick, corner, Gens, head fake, thought about it, drive back out. Patinio up with it, no good, rebound home. Heinz Keys get over to Ashley. And now they slow down the pace here. Grant will probably focus on that ball movement once again. Over to Kay, home in the corner. Beat it in, Nudson. There's Ashley for the bucket. Ashley to pick up the pieces there on that tip pass. Once again, get the easy bucket for him to put Grant up 26-17 here in the second quarter. Stewart. Drive, Marquise, good. Beautiful drive there by Marquise to get the storm some momentum here in the second. A scrappy play down there in the paint on the defensive end. Foul to be called there on Marquise. Group sub here for the Storm. 32 Wiley, 24 Zeibel, and 30 Vesta. We'll check in for South Elgin coming in from Marquise, Stewart, and Patinio. Ashley, loose ball down low. Up with it, nice block, Zeibel. Gets his own board. Both big men for the Storm are there and they're gonna get... Let's see which one they're gonna call it on. It'll be on Joe Zeibel. It'll be his first foul of the game as Ashley will line up at the charity stripe. Good. Knocks down the first.
put Grant up nine. That will put Ashley at 15 on the game here for Grant. As see as a storm can get something going here as they're almost down a double digit deficit. Ball back in the hands of Drew Swick. Swick drive. And, and the foul. Beautiful drive by Drew Swick to get the and one conversion. We'll see if he can convert. Three-point play opportunity coming up here for Drew. Ball. Ooh, Wiley Ashley. tried going for the steal there into home. Good Bucket good. Randall home. Assist from Ashley to Randall home. Wiley the drive, the reverse, what a bucket, Kendis Wiley. Beautiful reverse bucket from Kendis Wiley. You love to see the reverse. It's rarely used, but it's beautiful when you get to see it. Pulled that out of his bag of tricks there. 240 remaining here in the second. Grant up six, falling out of bounds, lofty pass. There's a Swick last touched it. So possession will stay with Grant. Carter K subs in for the Bulldogs. Smadra over to Vesta, Ashley, Ashley drive. Two shots, will be a shooting foul. Off foul called on Swick. We sure about that one? I don't know if it looked like he was shooting to me. He might have been going for a pass there, but. I even see Drew talking to the ref down there. Yeah, he doesn't seem too happy with that one. As Ashley will get the first free throw to fall. Sixteen on the afternoon for him. Make, make, it, make it seventeen. Ashley's been everywhere here for Grant. Still a close game though. Anybody's game. Feed it into Wiley. Kendis. He'll head the line to shoot two free throws. Two very big free throws coming up here for the Storm. Definitely gonna need these to get some momentum on the offensive end. Close out the gap a little bit. It's still a close game. Anybody's game here as we head into. Starting to go into the final two minutes of the half. 2.19 left, 32-24 in favor of Grant. And Wiley off on the first. <laughs> and off on both. both He's getting with the rebound for Grant, swing it all the way down. Svadra, corner three, bucket, Carter K. Carter K's been pretty, playing pretty well from the three-point line today. He's got two threes under his belt. And this Grant team is playing pretty well in the second half, closing the gap and making it an 11-point lead for them. They have come out firing. Wiley, spin move with the left, no good, rebound, Ashley. Those two were going at it in the paint, battling for inside positioning. Ashley wins that battle, Spadra, no good, rebound, Swick. Beautiful fake too, just couldn't convert on the easy bucket there. Swick, the hesitation, corner, Gens, three, need this one, no good, rebound, Vesta. No good, back to Zeibel, Zeibel a three, no good. Joe gets it back to Kendis, Wiley up with it. No good, and Storm, a lot of missed opportunities. So many extra offensive possessions, could not convert on any of them. Those are big mistakes for the Storm. Three See. offensive rebounds on that possession. Ashley, a three off the rim, no good. And they're gonna say it last touched Grant. Storm will get an opportunity here. As we go into the final minute of the half, Storm Again, so many extra opportunities on that possession and just couldn't convert. Definitely need to convert on one of those there after getting so many opportunities. Swick in the corner. 
Gens drive to the corner. Best of the Bible. Joe going to take another three. He's got Bang. that one. Goes Bible for three. Big bucket for the Storm. Definitely a big bucket there for the Storm. Closing it from a double digit lead as we head into the final half. 30 seconds of the half. Loose ball. They're going to say it's a walk. Travel for South Grant. Elgin will take over. Down 8, 28 seconds. Chance to chip into this deficit before half. Definitely need a bucket here at this final shot. I would probably drain the clock a little bit to give yourself the final shot. And then definitely need a bucket here. But you don't want to miss and then give Grant the opportunity to increase their lead for the final shot. So, And they seem to be slowing it down here and draining the clock. Be Swick, 15 ticks left. Joe, head fake, thought about it, drive, fade away, bucket, Dang. Joe Zeibel. That yeah, was over a couple of defenders, too, was feeling himself there. Joe Zeibel doing really well on nice that. Nice poke there by Gens, 2.2 seconds remaining. Have a custom heating cooling replay incoming of uh, Joe. Three, three defenders. Grant defenders in the area. Bang. Cash home the fadeaway. South Elgin down six now, 2.2 seconds remaining. Keys getting on the inbound. Three ball, no good off the rim, and that'll do it for our first half of action. Our score, Grant 35, South Elgin 29. We will be back after this halftime break to preview the second half ahead. Hi, welcome to the Bear Family McDonald's. Thank you.
And we are back here for our second half of action between South Elgin and Grant. Our score, Grant's currently up 35-29 on the Storm. The story for Grant in the first half, Mikel Ashley, 17 points for Grant, carrying the load on offense. And South Elgin just finding inconsistencies so far on offense, but knowing how they operate, there's plenty of room to turn around and being down six. This is anyone's ball game at this point to talk about Austin. It definitely is anyone's game. Still a closely tight-knit game, mainly a defensive affair so far. But as we said, Mikel Ashley, 17 points. For the man of his stature, you'd have to think he played football, right? I would have thought so, he is yeah. But. Number 34, giant stature, using that to his advantage while also super quick and able to shoot the three. That's been an advantage for Grant. However, South Elgin is still staying in it with their strong defensive presence, and they just need to find their flow on offense. I believe it'll still be a close knit game. We did see Ashley last year in this tournament as well, as he was a force for Grant. They utilized him all over the place on both sides of all. He is a senior. So he was making an impact for this team as a junior last year in this tournament. And we will see how the second half will progress for the Storm and the Bulldogs. look there at Coach Johnson and his guys on the storm. They probably got a good game plan heading into the second half to gain some momentum while Grant probably keep the flow they have right now and they'll probably be all right, but we'll see how both teams capitalize here in the second half. It'll be starting out for the storm. It'll be Wofford on the floor for the storm. Four Wofford, 21 Swick, 32 Wiley, five Gens, and 12 Marquise rolling with most of their starters. Four, Grant will be 25 home, 34, Ashley. It's a foul called there on Grant. 22, Keesgan, 32, Carter K, and number four, Luke Rosen. And Rosen will check out here for Neil Knudsen. Wofford on the inbound. Swick. Over to Wofford. Wofford, nice moves, driving past Wiley. It was tipped. And right there we see the beautiful ball handling capabilities of Wofford. That was a beautiful hesitation move. We'll see if he can capitalize on those and get some good looks at the rim. But they definitely run their ball offense through him and his ball handling capabilities. They lobbed into Marquise. Back screens being thrown for Wofford, well defended by Grant. They'll give it to him now. Wofford looking for Gens, he's got him. Gens, swing it, Swick. Swick, drive, found Wofford in the corner. Wofford, spin, move, blocked by Holm, back into the hands of Swick. Swick, drive, float, no. Wiley up with it, gets it to go. Finally, after that long possession, Wiley gets it to go. Has some really good ball movement in that possession by the Storm. We'll see how Grant will respond. Couple men, Holm, nice block by Wiley. Beautiful defensive hustle there by Wiley as they run the break. Swick. Try dodging, drawing the charge there. Marquise. There will be a travel call there on Marquise, dribbling with his head down, he had Wofford in the corner. And almost insult to injury there as Aaron was, Aaron did hit that corner three. Just made it for fun at that point. As the play was blown dead. Nice trap here by the Storm. Driving, nice bucket, wow, Carter K. Carter K with a beautiful bucket there. Through the traffic the whole time, gets it to go. The Storm, we see a lot of trap defense over there on the other end. And they seem to be running that pretty well and it seems to be working, however, they just need to get their flow on offense with their good ball movement as they've been using. is Drew Swick. Swick, nice ball handling, no good, rebound. It was a beautiful setup, just Easy. couldn't convert. Grant up six. Ashley, the man of the first half for Grant. 
Giesgen, deep three, in and out, rebound, Swick. Swick, Wofford, Wofford steps into that three, got it, Aaron Wofford. Aaron Wofford with a three, beautiful three for the Storm, and we'll see how Grant, with this beautiful trap defense, leads to a foul. Foul called on Josh Gens. It'll be into Ashley. Three point grant lead, five and a half minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Andy Ockham, Austin Geese here with the Beacon Academy at the Hinkle Holiday Classic Tournament at Jacobs High School. Beat it in Wiley back out to Ashley. Ashley to Keesgan. He's getting corner, K, three, got it. K has been all over the place in this game, and he's hitting those three-pointers. It's going to be hard for the Storm to close the gap. Six-point grant lead once again. Wofford, corner, Gens. Head fake, swing it, Swick, top of the key, no good, rebound. K has it into the hands of Grant. Kicked it off his shoe. Uh, they're going to call. I believe that'll be a kickball. I believe it is still Grant Ball, yes. I believe it was off of Swick after the kickball. Get over to home, back into Ashley. Ashley, fadeaway jumper, in and out, rebound, Whopper. Wofford through the lane. Last touch by Grant, it'll stay with the Storm. Wofford into Marquise. Swick's calling out a screen from Marquise. Switching defenders, Gens in the corner. Hard screen set by Swick to Wofford. Storm moving the ball around. Wofford. And Kay on the ground with it. Good hustle there by Kay. Fast paced action here. Ashley slows it down back. Keys getting long three. Rimmed in and out again. Rebound. Gens has it. A little bit more fast paced action here. Between these two teams, Storm running a little bit more fast paced offense as well. And now they slow it down. South Elgin trying to gain some momentum here. Wofford drive, no rebound. Loose ball into the hands of Ashley. Here come the Bulldogs. Ashley went to the baseline. Ashley. That could have been a walk there. No walk call. It said it'll be tipped by the storm. Possession with Grant. Subs coming in. Zeibel and Stewart coming in for Gens and Wiley. On the inbound down low, nice block by Zeibel. Back out to Jalen Rios, the Svadra. To Ashley, Ashley. And they're gonna call that on the ground. Blocking foul. <laughs> 40 to 34 here, and the final three minutes of the third. On the inbound, Keesgan. Oh, he got Swick jumping early to Jalen Rios, and that'll send him to the line. Good pump fake to force the foul there. It's a very good play by Jalen Rios. To shoot two will be Rios. Rios off on the first. Got to convert those free throws. Those are the easiest buckets you can get. Got to be able to convert those. And Rios gets the second free throw to fall, his first point of the game. And a sub coming in for South Elgin. As Daryl Barnes will sub in for Dylan Marquise. Wow. 
Wofford. Feed into Barnes. It was last touch by the Storm. Possession to Grant. And Hepper press. Nice steal there by Swick. Storm have the numbers. Drew driving. No rebound, Ashley. Great steal, hustle play, but couldn't and burn. Him. Jump ball. Jump ball. It'll still stay with Grant, but next one will go to the Storm. Good pressure there by Wyatt Stewart. Storm got this half court trap they're bringing now. Ball in the air, Svadra. Rios, corner three, no good, rebound. Loose ball stays with Grant. Svadra, three, off the rim, rebound, Swick. Two and a half minutes to go here in the third. Swick, cross-court pass, Stewart to Zeibel. Big Joe for three, off the rim, no good. Rebound, Grant. And Zeibel had a three earlier in this game. He thought he could hit another one. Couldn't convert this time as it is 41-34 in favor of Grant. As we enter the closing two minutes of the third. Stormy the bucket here, Ashley, three, oh. in and out. Last touch by Grant. And We're down now. to the final two minutes of this third quarter. <laughs> Wofford feed it in. Diving. Kalen Rios for two. Stewart. Zeibel, another three. Does he have it this time? No rebound. Makes him one for three from three point land today. Have one already in the game. Let's see if he can get another one today. Good to bed, Rosen. Good head Try feeding it in. Nope, into the hands of Barnes. Nice pass. Daryl up to Stewart. Stewart, scoop layup. Got it. Stewart, the bucket. Nice rebound and outlet pass on the other end by Daryl Barnes. And Rosen. Three, Rios, no good. Rebound, Barnes. Loose ball there, still storm ball. Say last touch by the Bulldogs. South Elgin ball. As we see Daryl Barnes inbounding the ball to Wofford as the Storm bring it up. Swing it, Zeibel runs into his own man, Wofford. Aaron will regroup it here to Swick. Swick, Zeibel, another three, no this time. He just cannot hit those threes today. However, now we got Ashley bringing it up again with Barnes guarding him. Esfadra. And throws it out of bounds. South Elgin will get the last shot of this quarter. South Elgin getting the last into this shot. Deficit here. Hoping to chip in the deficit, 43 to 36 as we close out the third. And something to take note of, Ashley, Mikel Ashley has been completely mute on the side of the offense this whole quarter. Wofford, the dry foul call. Oh, jump, jump ball. ball. So it'll stay with South Belgium, 2.6 seconds. See if they can get a quick shot here. Seem to go behind the arc or in the paint. I think wherever the I think they're gonna have both options available to themselves. Wherever that open wherever that first open outlet is, I think any bucket for South Belgium here works. Wofford looking. He got Swick on the background. Nice tip pass. And possession to Grant. So nothing out of that possession. Therefore, the storm. Grant will take over with a second to go. Probably looking at a heave here for Grant.
No heave there. Great defensive pressure by the Storm as we close out the third. That'll do it here for our third quarter of action. Eight points scored by the Bulldogs. The Storm respond with seven, so still a tight grudge match to the end as we are currently sitting 43-36. Grant over the Storm. Be right back after this quick commercial break. back here for our fourth quarter of action between Grant and South Elgin. The Bulldogs currently up on the storm, 43-36. Austin, what are we looking at? So to far, this one out. we've been looking at Grant taking pretty good offensive control in terms of this game. South Elgin has been pretty decent so far in that third quarter. As we look as South Elgin scored how much in the third quarter? South Elgin put up seven in the third to Grant's eight. Very, see a very slow paced defensive affair. Not a lot of scoring for them there as this fourth quarter of action is brought to you by Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin. For a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned save time, shop online at rosenhyundai.com as Mikel Ashley. And there we nice see Nice bucket down low to start. Mikel Ashley getting some offense in, in the second half. Believe it or not, that is his first points of the half after that 17 first half. Stewart. And a three second violation, possession Grant. So two seniors, Zeibel and Barnes out. Wiley and Marquis will check back in for the Storm. Cap court trap brought by the Storm. Ashley back over to Keesgan. To Ashley again. To Keesgan. Down to Ashley. And pass, last tip by the Storm. And we see them a lot of the time like using those post moves and then trying to pass out of those to lead another bucket in the post to another man. I've seen that pattern here for Grant and I'm trying to see if the Storm could possibly exploit it as we get the foul for the charity strike shot. I'll go to Randall Holm, we'll head to the line to shoot two. First bucket, good. Puts Grant up 10. Grant just extended to a double digit lead here. Commanding presence for them. No good, rebound, Nudson. Now into the hands of Stewart. South Elgin down 10. Swick, Wofford in the corner. They gotta get something cooking here early. Definitely need some offense to brew up here in the fourth early and nothing there for Stewart, rebound home. Need to get some good looks here for the Storm while Grant been playing a pretty good pace so far. Good defensive pressure while consistently getting buckets despite the Storm's defensive pressure. Ashley, another oh, bucket there. That was a big boy move by Mikel Ashley. Being the easy bucket for him. Wofford, Swick in the corner for three, no good, rebound Ashley. As you saw, Coach Johnson was not happy with that shot for the Storm as Grant continues the pressure. Drive, no good for Carter K, rebound Wiley. Six minutes to go here in this contest. Wofford lost the handle completely, it'll go right back to Grant. Seeing very good defensive pressure from the Storm. However, 
Grant continues to score despite that pressure, mostly thanks to Mikel Ashley. Foul there on Marquise. Five twenty-five remaining in this contest. The Storm definitely need to get something brewing if they want a chance to get back in this game. What do you think they need to do, Andy, to get back in this game? I need to. They need to figure out a way to take care of Mikael Ashley on the defensive side of the ball and on offense. Turnovers have killed them this game, and also quality shots. They need to start taking, finding those quality shots that they're used to taking. For sure. As it'll be Keesgan, Swick on him. Dry feed, Ashley. No, he gets his shot back. Now he's fouled. A tremendous hustle by Ashley to get those boards. Taking some wild shots there, but he gets his board back and gets the charity stripe shots. See if he knocks him down. And he's two at two. That will put Ash at 23 on the afternoon. It'll be a technical foul on Coach Johnson of the Storm, so. It'll be, Ashley will shoot the technical free throws. Very rough committing that technical foul from the coach. It's giving them free, easy points. Can't commit those mistakes, even if you're frustrated with a play. And he knocks home both. As just adding on to the lead of Grant. Five minutes left, still in the realm for Storm to make a comeback, but they definitely need to get some offense brewing here very quickly and be more efficient on the defensive end. Keys again, float layup, no good, rebound, Wiley. Five minutes to go, Storm battling a 16-point deficit. Over to Whopper to Marquise. Over to Swick. Swick back to Marquise, Marquise drive, foul, he'll go to the line to shoot two. Wild foul there on Marquise, they definitely need these free throw shots here to get some momentum on the offensive end. First toss is off the mark. And possession will go to Grant off the second missed free throw. Storm definitely needs some defensive stops here right now as they're applying tremendous full court pressure onto Grant. Wild foul there. And a foul there beyond Vesta. And that'll send Carter Kay to the line to shoot two free throws here. Notable for Carter Kay, he has 11 points on the afternoon. I know you've been all talking about Ashley, but Carter Kay's been doing pretty well for the offensive end on Grant. I was about to say, Ashley is currently sporting 25 points this afternoon. Tremendous. Big game for him. As this time I was brought to you by Tom the Plumber. Tom the Plumber Inc. is a family-owned operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at tomtheplumberinc.com. This game is slipping away from the storm. 
Slowly but surely, Austin. 16 point deficit for the Storm. Kel Ashley's been everywhere along with K, as we mentioned, 25 points for Ashley, 11 for K, respectively. On the Storm side, it's been a little bit lost in this fourth quarter, but it's not completely out of the realm for a comeback. 435 remaining, 52-36 in favor of Grant. Like I said, crazier things have happened. 16 points. It's got to get going now. Now's the time. We've been saying it for sure. Got to go now. No better time than the present for the storm for the storm team. Can't wait too long to start that offensive pressure. It's mount the comeback. They got to get some offensive flow going now, especially with these free throws being shot. Okay, off on the first. K is good on the second. That will be 12 points for K on the afternoon. Swick to Marquise. Oda Vesta. Back to Wofford. Having some good ball movement from the storm right now. You need some offensive life breathing right now. And three-pointer. There it is. That'd be a two. That'd be a two-pointer there for Dylan Marquise. Two-pointer. Ref said he was inside the line. 15-point Grant lead. He stepped out of bounds. South Elgin will get it right back. And now we'll see if the Storm can mount a little bit of a comeback with that offensive pressure. While Grant pretty much can stay the course with their defensive pressure and offensive flow and capabilities that they've had so far, especially with Mikel Ashley, as we've mentioned as the Storm bring it up. Can they climb the comeback? Mountain is the question. Corner, Marquise, three. No, a little too much there. Here comes Ashley. Ashley Keesgan. Keesgan thought about it. Now he's going to take a three deep. The front of the rim, no good. Home got it right back. K, head fake. They're going to say he walked. Travel there for Grant. That possession did take a solid amount of time off of what's going, what's left right now. We're only at 3.32 left. We're matching, as you said, no time better than the present for Storm. And Grant's, they, Grant's doing a good job of playing prevent. Absolutely. Pulling the game plan right now, Swick, three, money. Drew Swick for three. You said playing the prevent, prevent game, Grant. Only two and nine while Storm is four and seven. This is a pretty notable lead that they've gained for being a two and nine team and 0 oh and two in the conference. Got to start somewhere, but Rosen, no. Vesta's got the board. To Marquise, three minutes to play. Marquise the drive. They're going to call a block. Two fifty-six remaining. The storm definitely need to get something going right now if they want them out to come back. Time is running short in this contest. Wofford inbound, Marquise, Marquise, pull up jumper, got it. Marquise doing a great job of getting some offense going for the Storm as we enter a timeout. Timeout, 248 remaining, 10 point game, 53-43. Our score, as this timeout is brought to you by Custom Heating and Cooling. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland, featuring sale, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at customheating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes. What do you think about, so it's a 10-point deficit now. They shorten it by about six to seven points, I believe. Pretty notable achievement, but they only have 2.48 remaining. What do you think the Storm need to do to mount the comeback and get back in this game? What do you think Grant needs to do to keep their lead? Grant needs to hit their free throws. We're going to get to a point in the game where fouling will commence, and I think the, the one guy that they got to try and get the ball in the hands of to shoot those free throws is number 34, Mikhail Ashley. That would That's the guy you got to get the ball in the hands of. For South Elgin, force turnovers. When you get the ball in offense, quick possessions, quick buckets, any way. Beat it. There's a way to first force a turnover. 
Storm will get it right back. There cannot be any empty possessions, though, as I mentioned. High percentage shots. It's there to take it. Need a bucket. Swick going to take that three. The front of the rim, no good. Rebound. Wiley's got it to Vesta. Before back to Wofford. Corner. Vesta. Drive. Layup. No good. He got it right back. Definitely need yeah. a quick bucket here. Marquise got it. Marquise has been everywhere this quarter. He has got six in the quarter. Shortening it from a double Offensive digit Offensive rebounds there stolen. Whopper finishes. Here come the storm. It's a six point game with two minutes to go. Beautiful comeback and the beautiful steal and layup by Wofford. And we have a custom heating and cooling replay coming up. This is what I was talking about. Force turnovers. Quick offense possessions. That was one right there. Aaron Wofford stuck the right hand out there. Beautiful sequence for the Storm as it is only a six point game as we enter two minutes remaining in the contest. And this time out is brought to you by Tom the Plumber. Tom the Plumber Inc. is a family owned and operated company committed to providing service, craftsmanship, and installation of the highest quality. Tom the Plumber, now the board will visit him online at Tom the Plumber Inc. Dot com. Seen a pretty exciting comeback by the Storm. Only a six point game, two minutes remaining in the contest. Grant probably talking over how they can prevent this from getting too out of hand as they need to play the prevent game as you were talking about. But it's only a two possession game if you count by threes. Still need a turnover or two. We'll see how this unfolds here at the Hinkle Holiday Classic. Ashley into home. Back to Ashley. Over to K, over to Keesgan. Ashley Wofford on him. Be down to Ashley. Ashley, loose ball into the hands of the Storm. There's a turnover forced by the Storm. Swick, three, no good. Into the hands of home. there was an opportunity. Definitely needed that one right there with 126 remaining here at the Hinkle Holiday Classic. Long pass into the hands. Stolen again. Another turnover forced by the Storm, need this bucket. Wofford, head fake, thought about a three. Gotta get a bucket here, any bucket works. If you're Grant, you gotta force a stop. Good defensive pressure. Nice bucket, Wofford with the left. Good by Wofford, even with the defensive pressure and another timeout here. 102 remaining, a four point game. This one's getting interesting. As this timeout is brought to you by Rose and Hyundai of Algonquin, looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned vehicle. Save time. Shop online at RosenHyundai.com. Austin, a four-point game is what we are faced with. This one's going to be exciting coming down to the end. This it's, is an interesting. One. It wasn't looking like it a few minutes ago, but now we are we're in for a good one here at the last minute of the play. We are in for a good one here. It was a 16-point deficit for the Storm. 102, it's only a four-point game. We'll see how the Grant Bulldogs respond to the Storm's campaign here. We'll see if they can continue to apply the pressure. Need another turnover. We'll see how this game unfolds. Here at the Hingle Holiday Classic, Austin GC reporting alongside Andy Yakum. The Beacon Academy, I like to thank our crew for all they do for us, making our job a whole lot easier. Should be a fun finish here in our 130 game here today. Inbound. And here we go, full court press here. And a timeout taken by Grant. Another timeout by Grant. 
52.2 remaining in the game. As this timeout is brought to you by Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicago Lamp. Where are your heating and cooling needs? Count Com. We got our final minute of play. Wind down the final minute. It'll See be how Grant responds to the Storm's tremendous defensive pressure. As I believe we have all starters on the board. It'll be Ashley in the K. A loose ball into the hands of the Storm. Let's see it here. Now. Wofford, step back three, off Ooh. the rim. I thought that was in for a second. That would have been a tremendous play for the Storm. Grant pushing. And Holm will finish. Need a bucket. If you're South Elgin, need to convert here. Swick, Marquise, driving, foul called. That last one might have Sunk in, the, sunk in the ship there is that three from Wofford would have made it a one point game. Instead, the miss led to a fast break. Definitely need these free throws here for the Storm. 16 seconds remaining. And he is off on the first. Needed that one for sure. 16 seconds left in the game. One. Oh, a two, rebound, loose ball up in the air, it'll go to Grant, and now a travel is called. Travel on Grant, that's definitely good if you are in favor of the Storm. Let's storm see. Into Wiley, swing at Marquise, need a bucket now. Wofford, three, no good off the rim, and a foul. Couple missed threes down the stretch. Bucket there, good from Keegan. Pretty sizable difference here with 5.4 seconds remaining. We'll see what can happen. Swick will take the three. He'll get it to go. Swick nice bucket there for Swick. And that'll end it. Our final here from Grant 50 or from Jacobs 57-52. The final. The Bulldogs over the Storm. We will catch. I will catch you guys down by the post-game interview section. Austin was good. It was good. Uh, good Connie's games, you guys. With uh, you today, Austin, we will be back for another matchup between Barrington and Crystal Lake South following this post-game interview. What makes me most proud of our restaurants is our people. Our people who come in and work for us every single day. We try to create an atmosphere of, of family, an atmosphere of warmth, and an atmosphere of compassion.
Hi, welcome to the Bear Family McDonald's. Thank you. Hi, welcome to the Bear Family McDonald's. Thank you. We are back here, post-game interview with Michael Ashley. 25 points, big game for you. What went into that for you guys? Uh, I just wanted to make sure we got the dub. Uh, I wanted to make sure we went out there and executed what we needed to do, and we did that. You know, South Delta tried making a big late comeback opportunity. What, what was your guys' game plan just to hold off that comeback? Uh, we just wanted to make sure we secured the ball and not have as many turnovers as we had in the first half, and we, want, we did that, I think so. You guys seem to pull together as a group today. So you've got all the all your teammates back there hyping you guys up. Uh, what does this do boost the morale for your guys' squad? Oh, man, it's great, man. We love each other. We're a great group of guys. Uh, we have great chemistry. And uh, yeah. That's awesome. Hey, well, good game to you, man. Good, good job, Grant. Appreciate you guys. Good luck the rest of the way. Back to you guys. The following sports broadcast made possible by support from the Watch following. Me. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland, featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at customheating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant, whatever it takes. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin, looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? Save time, shop online at RosenHyundai.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography. For all your photographic needs, senior portraits, family portraits, sports, and more. Visit Daryl online at darylbarnes.com.